if you're dealing with an underperformer, rather than keeping them around for months, if not years, you can determine whether or not this person will make the cut or you need to let them go in less than 30 days, in less than four weeks. I guarantee it. I will share with you a very simplistic model of how. Week number one, you bring in the underperformer or the salesperson in question. You sit down. You have a heart-to-heart with them. You use some of the enrollment questions that I shared with you earlier. And you've gained commitment from this person that they truly want to turn their performance around. You're not done, folks. You need to set some measurable objectives first. Some milestones week in and week out. Not month in and month out. Not the quarterly evaluation. By that time, it's too late. Week in, week out, your undivided attention. And that first meeting, you set some measurable milestones of what you want that salesperson to achieve by the next meeting the following week with you. Well, the week goes by. The second meeting comes, you sit down with them, one of two things are going to happen. Either they've met their performance goals and you praise and acknowledge them, or they didn't. And if they didn't, you continue probing, asking more questions. What got in the way? What resources do you need to achieve these goals? Where did you feel like you missed the mark? How else can I support you? What additional resources can I provide? And at that point, you set those measurable milestones again, The salesperson makes that commitment. They go out into the field. The next week goes by. Week number three, they come and they sit down and meet with you. One of two things are going to happen, folks. Either they met their performance goals and objectives or they didn't. And if they didn't, we repeat the process at week two. If they did, we praise and acknowledge them. If they didn't, we probe deeper to find out what's really going on here. What do they want their W-2 to say at the end of the year? How badly do they want this goal? So what you do is you do what you did the week before again, and you set those measurable milestones. And here you are, the last week, the fourth week, 28 days later, you sit down with them, and one of two things will happen. Number one, they met their objectives and milestones, and at that point, you acknowledge and praise them. But if they did not, at this point... I think you have all the evidence you need to make that tough decision and let that person go.